welcome back to today's video. For today's video, I film this fox size makeup tutorial. If you do like this video and want to see more, then please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get on into it. Start off with, I've got different moisturizers today. I always steal this off my nan. And this is the NOS. NOS? N07, number 7, early defense day cream. It's got SPF 15, which we love. Got to protect from the sun. I'm gonna wipe that all over my face. It just feels so nice on the skin. It smells gorgeous. Like, it smells so lovely. Put that all over your face. I'm then going to use the Matte Fix Plus, um, this is the gold light one. Give it a shake. It just makes your skin so glowy and dewy. I'm going to do skin first because the eye makeup look isn't too drastic, so I can do skin first. I'm not like going to get any fallout from the eyeshadows or anything. So I'm going to start off with my foundation. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation. I love I love this and I also love the red one. I think the red one's a lot better. And then the BB cream. Um, but the red one is full coverage. So full coverage is more up your street than the red one is probably better for you. Mixing them together just so we can get a perfect shade. And I'm going to dot that on my face. I said in my last video but... Um, I'm finding that when I take foundation up on a sponge, like straight away, and then put it on my face, it's not been like lasting around my whole face. Like I have to mix up more. But if I um like put it on my finger and then blend it, then it's fine. So I've been doing it this way. Okay, blend it all in. Concealer. And by the way, for this video, I'm trying to use like more like drugstore products because I know a lot of people like will favour that over high end. But I'm still gonna keep doing both because of course. For brows, I'm just gonna be using the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil. This is the two in one. It's got like a setter in it as well. So literally, I'm literally just gonna fill it in. sticking up as you can see and then I smooth over and then you get a fluffier brow look so I'm going to go off and do the other one and I'll be back now that the eyebrows and skin is done well my foundation is done I'm going to prep my eyelids with this this is the Revolution Pro full coverage camouflage concealer I'm just going to take some of this on my finger not too much because it's so so high coverage put it on my eyelid blend it out with my finger <laughs> gives you like a like a blank canvas literally it's so good obviously you can get it in different shades i'm gonna do the same on the other eye <laughs> and it's not going to move or crease the eyeshadows. So once that is done, we're actually going to do the eyes now. So for my eyeshadow palette, I've got the Morphe 25D Oh Boy palette. I recently got this, like not recently, but recent. It's the re most recent like thing I've bought. Um, it's just full of like matte browns, like reddier tones. It's so lovely, it's so nice, like, you've got like every tone you could need in there. Um, I'm going to start off with just this colour at the end, just to build up the crease really. 
because we need to build it up to quite a darker colour to create the fox fur look. When you're blending, blend towards the edge as well so you can pull it out because you want to be able to pull it out basically. Create that fox eye effect. I'm just taking it out on the outer corner and I'm going to blend it through the cream. I've got this on the Jeffree Star fluffy blending brush. So you're literally going to pull it out to create that line. You're going to pull it towards your temple. Because you don't want to pull it down, because if you pull it down you're going to make your eyes look like they're going down and not up. And we're going to start light and work our way up. I'm going to do the same on the other eye on the back. Once both eyes are done I'm going to move on to this shade down here, it's a darker brown. Um, it's a lot more darker toned. I'm going to place it on the outer lid first because the outer lid, the outer corner. Because this is just going to help us drag it. And then you're going to blend it forward into the cream. And don't worry if it looks too big because we can clean it up at the end. Everything is cleanable. And you're slowly just going to start to create that fox eye. Find that on top of this concealer that I just blend so so easily and so effortlessly. I'm going to do the same on the other side and again on the back. Once both eyes look the same I'm going to apply something to my lid so because you've got the darker shades on the outside, I wanted something on the inside, but I didn't want to keep it bare. So I'm literally going to use the shade in the middle. It's quite a pinky colour, but it doesn't show up like that. So I'm just going to use the excess product on the brush. And then I'm going to add in that pink, pinky shade, and it just ties it all in really. Just very nicely. The next step is going to be very daunting for some people, it's very daunting for me. Um, you don't have to do this step of course, like you've got the fox eye shape now, you just need to clean it all up with like concealer or foundation, whatever you want, but I've been, I did it yesterday when I did it and um, if you add a black shade just right on the outer corner, like no further, no in the middle, nothing, just on the outer corner, it just gives you a bit more definition. This is the Morphe. 3502 palette in second nature it's a really nice palette i really recommend this one actually um i'm going to take the tiniest amount of black because this black in this palette is so pigmented and i'm going to build it up literally just on the outer corner i'm just going to blend and blend that out and put it on top of it but again don't forget we are going to clean it up so you don't need to worry about any product that looks like it's too big or because it will get cleaned up i think this is just a nice eye look that like can wear during the day or like if you were going out obviously you're not going out at the moment but like, I wore this at home yesterday um well on Thursday when you're watching this and I just think it's so nice like it's it's quite natural of course like it, it's not like the most natural makeup look you've ever seen in your life but it's not like you could make it more natural like you don't have to put the black just like you can do anything with it so I'm going to finish the other side and then I'll be back. I just think this is a really wearable look. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's so nice. Like, it's just a way of wearing it. Because I know, I, I personally, like, on my days where I'm having, like, natural makeup, if I'm going to wear eyeshadow, it's going to be, like, a brown. I just think this is a nice way to just, like, make it a bit more fancy and brown. And once they're both blended, and you've got the shapes you want, you can literally just put concealer and you'll see what I'm going to do and you literally just wipe and make it and then you can go back in if you want to touch it up and also if you want to you can add a bit of shimmer in the inner corner to make it pop because it's quite a matte look I mean it is a matte look you literally just pop it on the inner corner nothing too amazing or drastic because you don't want to take away from the matte shape but yeah as I say Obviously the black has made all the difference and made it more like, but um, you don't have to do it at all, like, it looks so good before, and if you want to give it a go then give it a go, send your pictures, 
I'm going to conceal with the Revolution Pro full coverage. Camouflage. I'm going to use a tiny amount. Oh my god, that was so scary. I'm going to start off with the tiniest little blob. Because this stuff, honestly, is incredible. Like the coverage it gives for the price it is. I mean, I would pay a lot for this concealer, truthfully. But yeah, you're literally just going to blend it out. I always start with a tiny bit of this because I feel like if I put too much and it's irreversible, but if I build it up then it's cool. But I literally just drag my sponge when I get to my eye and just pull. And alternatively, you don't have to have it come out, coming out this far. I just think it looks better when it comes out quite far. Just to make sure everyone is able to wear this look. I'm going to add a bit more concealer to the rest of my face as well because I didn't put any there. It's one of them concealers that last for ages as well. You literally need the tiniest little amount. just gonna take the B set and just put that all over my face because I find that this concealer can move if you don't set it. So I'm just gonna take it all over my face, particularly under my eyes anywhere I put concealer. In the T-zone. And by the way it will come together, it looks crazy at the moment but it will come together, I promise. So to start off I'm going to contour, this is the e.l.f. Fiji Matte, this is the like duo, it looks so much like the NARS, like you know, we, it's fine. I'm going to take the light contour shade on a fluffy brush and just pop that under my cheekbone, it's such a lovely colour. <laughs> Forehead, go contour it down. Also, these are so pigmented, like, and they last ages. I've had this for years. Um, the blush is also very nice. I'm going to use the blush today after I've. Bronzed. And then going to take that same brush but a different version because I've got two of them. I'm going to take the Rimmel Natural Bronzer because I don't want too much and I'm already tanned so I don't want too much, just a bit of something to give us a bit of bronze on the cheeks. I went for a stage where the only thing I would wear like on my face like well, obviously on top of foundation and stuff was bronzer like I didn't wear blush or highlight it was always just bronzer like honestly I just think it changes everything like see how much the look has changed since we added like highlight highlight contour uh bronzer so oh god um I just think it makes all the difference and this one from Rimmel is really inexpensive and it's so nice so warm but so natural at the same time and then we are going to you could put faux freckles with this. Now, I personally would. Um, I know a lot of people wouldn't. But I think I might. Oh, if we just do it. It's a way to make it more natural if you're feeling more like a natural girl. Or boy. However you feel, really. I'm going to use this little, tiny little brush. This is the... I don't even think it says on it. It's because that's more... Oh, it's called the fine liner brush. It's real technique. I'm literally just going to dip into my hula. I haven't actually used this brush with freckles before. Oh no, it works. I'm just going to create a few and I'm going to go over it with my beauty blender just to make sure that it's all natural and doesn't look like we've drawn on freckles. 
I do actually have freckles on my skin, like loads of them. But um, that's why I like to add them back in because everyone knows I have freckles. Like all the people I meet know how freckly my skin is. But um, adding them back in just makes it look so much more natural. And I just think they look so cute. Like I know a lot of people really don't like freckles, but I think they look so cute. Honestly, so cute. And then literally just the foundation blender. I'm gonna go over that and make sure they're all blended in. They're so so cute. And then we're gonna blush. What else are we gonna do? We're gonna blush, we're gonna highlight, we're gonna mascara and we're gonna do lashes because got some glue i got them in this because literally everywhere is sold out of lash glue i really don't understand i made my mum went to the shop and she was like do you want anything and um they had these these were like the only lashes with like lash glue and they're actually like decent lashes like they're actually okay um but i'm gonna use my other lashes and i'm gonna use the lash glue the lash glue came like this it doesn't even have like a lid but we've got lash glue what what, what more could we want so i'm gonna blush using the El Fiji again. I'm just going to use the same um, brush we bronzed with because I'll mix these two together now. Create a blush shade. So pretty. I just blend in so nice. That looks so extreme on the camera. Ooh. Promise you it's not that dark in real life. You will see. It looks so bright on camera. What is going on? I don't even wear that much blush because I don't really like. As I said, I'm usually like a bronzer girl. That's better, I think. But then, gonna highlight now. Highlight. I've got again another drugstore. Revolution Ro Rose Gold Glow. Now I love Revolution highlights. I use that um what do you call the baked one that I always use? I use that all the time anyway. Um we're gonna use the uh, like champagne shade rather than the pinker shade. I'll take this on this brush, this is the real techniques 402 setting brush. They're so pigmented, like I'm actually scared right now. But just gonna put that on the high points of my cheek. I hardly even dipped into that. I just honestly don't think you can fault Revolution um, highlights. Like they just get it right every time. Every single time. Oh, I've got to come to my nose do that in a minute let's just finish highlighting and then we'll get back to that now we're all glowy and gorgeous oh i'm just gonna do the hype i always forget this recently in videos when i go like this love me create myself a little horn <laughs> i literally do it in a triangle shape but i literally looks like i'm making myself have horns it just makes like your face look so like glowy and wet which we love i'm then just gonna contour my nose with this little brush and the bronzing powder that i used in my last video just because I find it's more of a contoury shade. I'm going to go down that side, down that side, underneath there, underneath, and around. It's actually a TikTok hack, guys. Did it in my TikTok hack video? Right. Now we're going to add mascara. For mascara, I'm using the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast. This is a great mascara as well. I love it so much. I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lash my top lash lashes. Not too much because we're going to put lashes on in a minute. And then same on the other side. And I'm not going to do my bottom lashes yet. I'm going to wait till I've got my uh, lashes on. So for lashes, I'm using the Ardell 101 Demis. Love them so much, and they're so so nice. Um, these ones don't particularly have like a longer outer corner, but I would recommend them. But I don't want to wear the ones that I just got because they're too much. These ones are quite a nice in between, if you ask me. 
So I'm literally just going to glue them all up. Oops. Lashes just make all the difference, really, don't they? Now that my eyelashes are on as best as they can be, the glue wasn't very good and it didn't go very tacky. To make it even more natural, I'm just going to use a Chanel pencil. This is the white one. Just in my waterline, just so we can brighten up the eyes because lashes can tend to stay that way. Oh, my eyes are watering. And then same on the other side. And I'm just going to put a bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to use the Great Lash by Maybelline on my bottom lashes. Just give them a bit of love. And then for lips, you can either go like, you can use a red lip or you can go for quite a nude lip. I'm going to go for quite a nude lip just because I'm going to wear this today and I don't want to wear a red lip, red lip around the house with this eye look. So I'm going to take this Ted Baker. It says it's a lip balm. But it's nude and it's really nice. It's so creamy and it's like a brownie nude, which we love. Oh my god. I think a brownie tone really does just draw this all together. It just looks so good. Like, I think it's so natural and amazing. To set this, I'm just going to use my Magic X Mark Prep and Set Spray. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got playlists on my channel now, so if you do want to check them out, then please do. Um, all my links to social media will be in the description box. And yeah. Subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.